some fairly weird chronicles. Today, I'm picking up my 14th Doctor Sonic screwdriver because, well, I would have had it ordered to my new flat. Yes, I moved into a new flat, except the doorbell doesn't work. So it probably wouldn't get delivered, you'd be returned to sender, all that jazz. So, you know, I used one of those pay point things. Safe place, get it delivered to here. Just bring your ID, etc. And uh, I've ended up in the middle of nowhere. I do not know where I am, but you know what? We'll we'll roll with it. We'll work with it. And if I end up with a sonic screwdriver, it'll be all worth it. Or if I become the sonic screwdriver, you never know at this point what's going to happen. Uh, I'll let you know. Not to mention the delivery process with this sonic has been quite something. I mean, it's been all over the place. No confirmation emails because I guess they were overwhelmed. And of course the whole debacle of actually trying to get the thing in the first place is insane. Remember, they are coming back in stock. So don't fall for any scalpers. Do not fall for any scalpers. I saw somebody for selling it for like 250 quid the other day. Insanity. Oh wait, that was today. It's mine. The precious is mine. God, that probably looked weird. And there it is, woo! The mystical item that has been ever elusive to many a Doctor Who fan, the 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. We're gonna take a look at this. It's been a very long time since I've done a review. I think the last time I did a proper review was, uh, okay, die then. <laughs> um, was for the 12th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. And that was all the way back in, what was it? 2017, Christ. It's been a long time since that. Now, I don't claim to be good reviews. This probably won't be very good in terms of being reviewed. There are many superior reviews out there. I'm just gonna play this for entertainment, guys. But uh, yeah, it cool though, in it, yeah. Ugh, I'm never saying that again. On the back, we have a little picture of uh, David is 14, nice little PNG, and a nice little diagram of the Sonic. We've got a little bio too, the 14th Doctor, just like the 10th Doctor, is an intriguing mixture of apparent opposites, an extraordinary mix of kindness and sensitivity, etc., etc. Uh, but no, I find that pretty cool. It gives us a nice little hint into uh, 14's personality, even if it is uh, just like 10's, but we'll, that remains to be seen. But yeah, let's crack this thing open and feast on the goo inside. Anybody can tell me what that quote is from. I will give you a virtual cookie. I'm gonna do this in the most delicate way I can. I quite like the box, so I wanna keep it intact so I can just slot it in there. But you know, you know the drill, you know the score. It's probably gonna get destroyed. <sighs> Lord, you are testing me. Are these things supposed to bend and snap? No, uh, oh, it's quite satisfying, really. The box lasted 45 seconds before being irreparably creased. I am disappointed in myself greatly. <sighs> well, we might as well commit. Let's go! Oh, hello. This feels like an elaborate crystal maze puzzle. We just have to get the little bendy bits out so we can... Oh, oh I could just grab a pair of scissors and make this a lot easier for myself. But no, I'm doing it the brute force way. Because why not? In today's economy... We can't afford paper cuts, but you know, there we go. We're doing it. Oh no, that that's really risky. Let's try and be a bit delicate. Oh, hello. What's this? That's a little switch, okay. Let's take this off. And there we go. Hey, we made it. Hey, we got it. We haven't got it yet. We, we haven't got it yet. But, oof. Right there. Oh, still got the bendy things there. For goodness sake. One second. And so we have it, the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver, now free from its packaging prison and into my hand. And, yep. Oh, hang on a second. There's more packaging? Sorted it. Now what is I, an incompetent fool, try to feel my way around this screwdriver? So, got the little slider here. So we're going to claw mode. Nice. I think that's pretty badass. Oh, there we go. We got the sound. Got the sound. And let's look at the detail on this one. So from the get-go, we can tell that the crackle effect, it's just printed on. It doesn't have any texture to it whatsoever, apart from the uh, the line where the uh, the paper has actually been put in. Um, but everything else is pretty textured. I mean, there's this bit, which feels directly from the 11th Doctor screwdriver. Uh, hang on a second. 
It is a very similar adjacent part. I'm very sure that someone else has already pointed this out long before I have, but I'm just discovering these things for the first time in this design. And uh, the way it has incorporated facets of previous Sonic designs, I mean, one second, is pretty sweet. So of course we've got it homaging the 10th and 11th Sonic screwdrivers, and I believe like the 12th would be homaged through this little bit here. Uh, they had these bars in them that illuminated, and 14s has one as well, so we can consider that to be the little homage to 12, and as well, the ending as well. But no, it's very much an anniversary piece, and I respect it for that entirely. I don't know what Shooties is going to be like. Now, obviously, Sonics don't have one sound effect, so let's try tapping the button multiple times to see what happens. So, here's one. Okay, basic. Number two. It's a bit higher pitched. Ooh, and it's giving a nice little reverberating effect. Number three. Ooh, I like that. It's like it's like a flame. Oh, wow. No, that's really cool. Number four. Oh, sweet. It's kind of like an alarm. And if there's any more, maybe number five. Ooh. No, that's sick. That's really cool. Of course, we know that this Sonic can go different colors as well, so I'm going to endeavor to find that. I'm going to need to find a screwdriver, but once I've done that, we'll play about with some colors. But before we do that, let's talk about the design and the feel. So, I mean, we've got this little chrome effect on the top half of the screwdriver. Now, it looks okay, but I do have a fear that it's probably going to chip very easily. And if this thing gets used a certain amount of times, it's going to just uh, fall apart. And I don't know what exactly is going to be underneath, and I pray to God that it's silver or grey, but we'll see. Well, I'm actually, I'm not in a hurry to find out, but... Maybe it's more resilient than I think. I'd be very happy with that. The grip on the latter half is very solid. I do quite like that, but these do bend a little bit, which I am very concerned about because that could lead to an accident. I've already seen people post about having accidents with this screwdriver in terms of uh, these bits getting damaged. So it is a little worry, but make sure you just be very careful with it and don't put it like, in any potential danger. So, interior pockets of your jacket should be fine. Trouser pockets, not so much. But you know the score. You don't need me to tell you how to use the screwdriver. Okay, so we've gotten rid of basically the entire lower half. So let's see what happens when we do this. One, two. Okay, we're still in blue. Okay, after some jiggery pokery, I managed to find out how to change the color. So we hold both the bottom and the top buttons down for a few seconds. Okay, so we've gone to free. Now, what color is this? Yellow! So, very much reminiscent of 13. So we've got yellow and orange. Let's try a different setting. Okay, we've got two. So what's that gonna be? Green! So very reminiscent of mats. Okay, so 11th Doctor Sonic. So I've been faffing around with this and the color settings for a bit, but I can't seem to find the red one. I'm sure, like, it's possible to find it. I'm just missing it. But I'll find it eventually. But for now, I'll say I like it. I really do like it. Like, the design, it appeals to me. I love the anniversary nature of it. I love it's a hybrid of the previous uh, New Who Sonics. And, uh, like, a hybrid, <laughs> as I say it. Sorry, uh, but I still say this is definitely the stronger of the character options models. And yes, I did accidentally break the slider many years ago. I regret it entirely. I was ruthless when I was younger. Oh dear, oh my. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is, it is a bit light. Like I'd say this one has a bit more weight to it in relative to its actual form than this one does. But you know what? The standard version may fix some of the errors out with this one in terms of its structural integrity. So I'm willing to give it a benefit of the doubt. 
It is a shame that it's probably a bit financially difficult to make this textured section actually textured, but I suspect that would put the price point up even further than it already is. And at 30 pounds, it's definitely on the higher end that I would expect for something like this. But yeah, it, it's understandable, you know, production costs and all that. I won't claim to understand the ins and outs of that particular thing. So uh, I'm not gonna make any uh, comments that far in. But something I do want to stress is that please be careful with it uh, because it's not the most structurally sound of all the Sonics that uh, character have done. I mean, these bits, they're a bit floppy for my liking, but honestly, if you just treat it with care, you'll have a good time of it, but don't go flinging it around too chaotically or things like that, because if it breaks, then well, that's your lot. But naturally, if you're working on your 14th Doctor cosplay, I think this is an invaluable piece to have along with it because, you know, it is Sonic. So 100% recommend it will go delightfully with your cosplay. It's nearly obligatory if you're working on a cosplay, to be honest. But yeah, definitely give it a shot if that's the look you want to go for. Now, my opinion of dubious worth is now over. You may go about your day. Thank you for watching. I don't do reviews and... Having watched this, you can probably tell why. <laughs> oh well. Tune in next week for all the 11th Doctor's costume variants. And also, there's something special about to happen on this channel very soon as well, which I shall explain now. Now, you may remember that over the Christmas period, I did a lot of Doctor Who speed quizzes. And as well as that, of my TikTok, I did a whole series of them. So these were all just general trivia about Doctor Who, seven questions, one minute. But I'm going to bring them back for YouTube Shorts, and this time it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of doing seven randomly chosen uh, questions about Doctor Who, I'm going to be doing it episode by episode. So I'm doing a rewatch before the 60th anniversary of all of Modern Who. So I thought, why not make some questions about it? So I'm going to be... So starting in a week or two's time, you'll be able to look forward to a Doctor Who speed quiz every day, starting from Rose to the 2023 Christmas special. Trust me, we will get there by then. And I'm looking forward to doing it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm re-watching the series now, and I've made it up to Father's Day. And Series 1 is just spectacular. Honestly is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my little Sonic Screwdriver review of sorts. I mean, it's... Fairly dubious of you, I know. But again, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Next week, I'll be talking about all of the 11th Doctor's costume variants. Thank you so much for supporting the 10th Doctor's one. I'm going to make it a recurring series. So, here we go. Thank you again so much. And until next time, see ya.